Well, thank you everyone for joining. Thanks, Matt, and thanks, uh, Sam. Also, all the authors who have joined today. Um, so generally, we will be following the uh, items listed here in the agenda. So yeah, if you have any specific question, please feel free to share. Great. Matt, yeah, you would like to screen share? Yeah. Let's share the screen. Um, there we go. <clears throat> okay. One, seven, three, the final. Okay, my question here is this proposal is already final. So is it oh. just to close? Sorry, let me close, close a couple of these tabs so I can actually see what's happening here. Okay. So they want to move this to final, but it's already final, you're saying? Yes, that's right. Looks like there was another pull request which got merged. Hmm, weird. Maybe they're just out of sync. Okay, Nick and Dan wrote this. Hmm. Yeah, this is weird. <clears throat> Let's look and see the history of this EIP on master. Okay, so Panda Pip moved it to final three days ago, and this was opened. 10 days ago. Okay, interesting. <clears throat> okay, so I'm guessing Panda Pip saw that this guy was trying to make it final and then he made his own PR, but I'm not sure why he didn't just update this PR or like. Because link. we can't. Oh, you can't update this. Okay. Well, no, only, yeah, only contributors can do that. Uh, wait, what do you mean? Only people with uh, contributor status on the repository can directly oh. edit PRs. You guys don't have contributor status? Oh, Pandapip does. Uh, no, we have contributor. I guess it's it's admin. Oh, well, I don't, I think it's somewhere in between because I can do it on other repos that I'm not admin on. So maybe oh, it's okay. right access. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Anyways, that's, that makes sense. I think the only thing is like, maybe, yeah, you should have mentioned that just so there was like a link between the two, but yeah, it looks like we could just close this. This was moved to final in five two one zero. Okay. Jekyll trick. Those are the things I love to see in the morning. <clears throat> yeah, so this one, uh, Panda Pip is adding a zero width space to try and get Jekyll to stop messing with the uh, path. Oh, this is yeah. to fix this thing. But uh, <laughs> That would break copying and pasting, which I think is equally bad. bad. <laughs> um, so Micah has another suggestion that he's su suggested, and I don't know where we're at with that. 
I think the correct thing to do is raise a bug with Jekyll, but, you know. How dare we fix something the right way? Yeah. Okay. This link is relative, but in the rendered version is absolute. Yeah, it's completely ridiculous. Like there's a yeah, like a code block or sorry, an inline code block with um like a relative link example. And uh yeah, you can see it right there with the dot slash EIP one, but Jekyll mm -hmm. converts it to an absolute path. <laughs> Why does it do that? I don't know. Hmm. That's all right. Okay. Yeah. It's brutal. Uh, yeah. I mean, this is the wrong solution. We need a better solution. I'm just going to close that. I don't think that it's worth continuing down that path. A zero with space. That's interesting, though. OK, moving to reviews, 3525. Okay, that's the wrong format. Did the bots catch? Yes. I don't have a discussion. Or not a discussion, description, I should say.
These changes make sense. Okay, let's just take a quick overall look at it. Try my patience back. One six five seven two one. Forgetting the correct word here. Whenever you're referring to something, it's like duplicate. Because they're saying yeah. every, oh yeah, yeah, redundant. Backwards compatibility implementations. That's wrong, I think. Security consideration is not optional, right? I think it is. That's what I was thinking for a moment, but it doesn't appear to be optional here on the okay. line right now. I was thinking it was required for core only, but maybe I'm confusing this with backwards compatibility. Yeah, that sounds reasonable. Maybe the backward compatibility is not required. Yeah, security considerations is definitely required. It's a blockchain for crying out loud. <laughs> I'm just thinking of this vine where it's like, when will you learn that your actions have consequences? No, that's an old meme. <laughs> <laughs> this is an old meme. Honestly, we should bring that back for the blockchains. <clears throat> okay, this place, this one is some merge conflicts and Panda Pep left quite a bit of feedback yesterday and they have not acted on it. So maybe I'll just take a quick look real quick, see if there's anything. So this proposal we requested them yesterday in the URL URI meeting to move it to the next status, but yeah. They need to resolve the conflict. Yeah, it looks like they're pretty much on it. Draft to review four eight three four.
hierarchical domain standard. Is this the one that's like a simpler ENS? At least that's what it's marketed as. I do not know. Here, give me one second. I need to look out the window and see if this trash truck is picking up our trash or not. This is by Panda Beep. And it looks like with DNS, right? Okay, sorry. <clears throat> um, yeah, the generic name resolution of access controls. I mean, it looks fine to me. Obviously, Panda Pip knows the correct formatting. Okay, new ones. Five, two, one, six. Okay, we can do them soon. <clears throat> Let's do this one first though. Extending ERC 1155 with rentable usage rights. I don't understand why people don't delete this. I know, it drives me insane. Like, I'm just like, what are you doing? We, sh we should just change the template so it's commented out, so at least it doesn't show up. Okay. <clears throat> Maybe an additional comment here. Please delete the below comment when you are making a pull request. <laughs> yeah, that would probably be helpful.
I've only seen this like three times already. Uh, is this uh, yet another? Oh, is this uh, 1155? Yeah. It might be the same author, just for 1155 instead of uh, hmm. 1121. I don't know. Oh, man. It would be really cool if there was somebody like really driving the NFT standards. I have invited Annette to tomorrow's meeting, the EIPAP meeting. She is uh, leading the NFT standard working group. Probably we can bring it up there. Where do they do work at? Because I don't really, I don't know where to follow anything that they're up to. I don't really see it on the FEM form. No, it's not there. I think they have a separate <clears throat> web website for that. Maybe I can okay. find a link. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. One thing that I kind of feel like is like, I don't know, FEM is not really as nice as it once was. It just seems like, I don't know, the same problem with the EAPS repository, just having so many NFT EIPs. It's hard to really follow what's happening, whereas it used to be, I don't know, I guess I could just go and look at core. That should be a possibility. Actually, none of them are tagged as core, though. It's a problem. I don't know, could probably improve the curation a little bit. <clears throat> Anyways, NFT standards, WTF. <laughs> Damn it, I can't paste that. Okay. This is very fancy. They don't even hype it. <laughs> God damn it. Well, isn't the interface ERC721 and then the standard is EIP-721? Like, it is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that one's confusing. I mean, the only place it's ERC721, no hyphen, is in the solidity contracts. IMO. But yeah, it sucks that that's the way that that is. But look, they don't even do it down here. And then they do it here. This is, oh man, this is the ERCC. This is the special version. Okay, that's enough of that. Uh, rationale backwards compatibility, security considerations. Okay. Extending ERC on to be five with approvals by amount. It looks like we have gotten a few reviews in the last couple hours, but we will. Take a quick look. Wow, 28,000 lines. Let's go. It, like letting people include package lock is a mistake. <laughs> yeah. I don't understand. You say the thanks, but already done, but it doesn't appear to be updated. I think it's just like uh, the comment was already made. Okay, 
I'll resolve it. <clears throat> or is there another, um, did they open a new pull request? I don't think it was a new pull request. Maybe yeah, it, it just re expand that again? Yeah. So, five, this one five, yeah, okay, it's the same one. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. Oh, shit. There we go. <clears throat> Wow, they're just hitting all of the contentious review topics here. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> Can you leave these unresolved until they're actually updated? Looks like these are still absolute. Yeah, I don't get that. Like, how are you supposed to use the resolve button? Like, I personally use it like I use it as like a to do list of things to update if somebody lets a lot of feedback. Yeah, but then like, okay, so if you use it as a to do list as the pull request, like creator, and then when you resolve it, then the person when they're checking the PR has to open all of them to make sure that you actually made the changes. Like, that's I don't true know. as well. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's not a great, it's not an ideal workflow. Yeah, I usually let the the person who made the comment resolve them. Yeah, that's fair actually, because a lot of times GitHub will also say like these were changed, and so yeah, it's like exactly. easy to see. Yeah. Hmm. What did we decide about the licensing within the repo? Uh, no licensing. If, <laughs> uh, prefer CC zero. Um, if you can't be CC zero, then anything that isn't like GPL is fine. Hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking like if you're importing things, you can't really be CC zero. Yeah, yeah, you should be able to because you're not redistributing the code. You're just importing it. But like you can't have anything that depends like like technically you can't have anything that, that depends on GPL. You can't have anything that depends on um proprietary code, like that kind of thing. But uh for the actual code that's here, as long as it's like CC0, MIT, Apache, the unlicensed, any of those are fine. Okay. What do we want to do about this package lock? Yeah, uh, just tell them to delete it. It's too big okay. and useless. And it'll fail the spell check too, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, mm -hmm. You can, so once you release something as CC0, um, 
it's no law like it's public domain so it the, the, there's no reason to dual license it so yeah basically you have to delete the mit license okay Haven't eaten any breakfast today. I'm starting to crash a little bit. I might need to get some water actually. Give me one second, I'm gonna grab some water. This is what fourth proposal on account abstraction. Oh, there's so many of them. <laughs> this one's this one's like a spinoff of four three three seven. Well, similar enough, but yeah. Yeah. Again, this is okay. a ERC. <clears throat> Endorsed operations. I mean, this is just what four three three seven is. What is the difference? <clears throat> Oh, it doesn't have the strict mempool rules and instead uses a bonding method. So uh, like to become a, uh, like an entry point contract, you have to put up a bond and then uh, people will like blacklist you if you misbehave. Oh man, you'll have. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. He, he tore the right essay in. The comprehensive list would be too long. <laughs> Uh, man, he doesn't use the hyphen either. Straight to jail. Wow, they're just, it's awesome. They're going in. Who is this guy for? <clears throat> Does this guy work at consensus or no? I don't know, I've seen him around a few times. Same. Okay. That's neat. Um, so they're hoping this is a draft. Man, if only half the amount of effort and account abstraction standards went into trying to make better tooling for like transaction bundles. The world if.
seems like they're kind of making up some terminology, like the endorser. To validate arbitrary operations. I don't know, this is really just like the <clears throat> validation check that we do with 2938. You skip breakfast every day, Sam. You're an absolute unit. Let's deploy and burn ETH endorser. <clears throat> I don't get why this does not require monitoring forbidden opcodes. Like, I don't think other proposals do either. It's just a server side check. I don't know, it seems, it seems interesting, but... <clears throat> I am, I'm a firm believer that referenced EIPs should not be in the requires header because that just doesn't make sense. Yeah, yeah. Agreed. I don't know why he's trying to do that. Because but... he, there's two parts to it. Like the first rule is that if you link to an EIP, it has to be in the requires header. And the second part is the status of the current EIP can't advance, advance past the status of EIPs in the requires header. So that way you can't like a final EIP can't link to a draft. Um, but I, I still think that the header needs yeah. to be renamed if we, if you do that. Agreed. Okay. Travis is failing. Description exceeds 140 train information after handle. We miss those. So I have robots. <clears throat> Ah, uh, yes, there's a period there, unnecessary. <clears throat> I like how I said it looks good to me, but Travis said no, it's not look good to me. Bot is overtaking. I mean, honestly, I could probably just fix these right now.
Okay. <clears throat> All right, hopefully that merges. <clears throat> NFT future rewards. Okay, lots of feedback already. <clears throat> they have cool graphics. It's always nice. Diamond Hand Hodler. Is this just a Ponzi scheme? <laughs> They're requesting for standardization. A standard Ponzi scheme. <laughs> <clears throat>
Hmm. What are they referring to here? <clears throat> What's going on here? Okay. Man, even Panda Pet doesn't do it. I got a GIF in here. Uh -huh. That's neat. Okay. <clears throat> Maybe we can do one more. Authenticity method for client script. The authenticity of an ERC 5169 client script for token contracts. I don't even know what, oh, this is probably something else I made. <clears throat> Maybe we review this one then first. <clears throat> this is a very short one. Client script URI for token contracts. Two point, two point. Two point two and XQ is for associated with functionality of the token. <clears throat>
Does that mean that it requires 5170? If he says it has to check all these things or it implements ERC 5170, I think that means it has to require it because yes. if, yeah, if all of these are not true, but it does implement 5170 and for some reason they didn't do that check, then it should be compatible, but they return it's not. Is this deep W? It is. Wow. Amazing. It's coming eventually. Can't wait. <clears throat> okay, nice. Didn't get Thank through you. all of them, but that's some decent work. Yeah, I'm hoping that maybe uh, ERC authors who are having some questions uh, join this meeting and share their question. And I hope that it would be helpful for them. Um, yeah, that's all. Thank you so much, Matt and Sam for joining. Hope to see you in two weeks and maybe tomorrow on the IPAP meeting. Have a good one. Sounds good. Bye, Pooja. Bye, Sam. <laughs>